This is a scabies mite. Scabies is an infestation of the skin caused by Cercoptes scabii. This mite burrows into the skin and lays eggs which hatch into adults and perpetuate the infection. Anyone can catch scabies. It's passed from person to person from touching someone with the infection or from contact with infested linens and clothing. The symptoms usually start two to four weeks after the mite first invades your skin. If you've had scabies before, symptoms can start sooner, within one to two days. The classic symptom is severe itching, which is due to an allergic response by your body to the mite saliva. Some people don't become itchy and carry it as an asymptomatic infection. The itch is usually from the neck down, sparing your head. You may notice scaling and redness in the finger web spaces or scaly bumps on the armpits, groin, torso, and limbs. Babies can develop blisters on the palms and soles and scalp itch. The infection is diagnosed by a doctor after reviewing your history and checking out your skin. A dermatologist can use a dermatoscope to try to find tiny little burrows or small linear tracks on your skin. We can also do a skin biopsy or a mineral oil preparation. Not all that is itchy on the skin is scabies though. I've seen people treated for scabies when it's actually eczema or another skin condition, and I've also seen people misdiagnosed with eczema who actually end up having untreated scabies. It's important to work with your doctor to get the right diagnosis. Treatment of scabies is divided into three main pillars, treating the infestation, preventing reinfection, and improving your symptoms. To treat the infestation, we use antiparasitic creams and lotions. The most common treatment that we give is permethrin 5% cream. For young babies and pregnant women, it's important to check with your doctor about which cream is safe for you to use. Permethrin cream is applied at bedtime from the neck down, and then it's left on overnight for about eight to 12 hours and then washed off in the morning. It's important to be extra sure to apply this cream between the fingers, between the toes, around the belly button, in the groin and the arm. Pits. For babies, we also recommend treating the scalp and the neck area. Most scabies treatments do not treat any eggs that have been laid by the adult mites. For this reason, you have to repeat the treatment again in about 7 to 10 days. All house members and close contacts should be treated as well, even if they don't have symptoms. To prevent reinfestation, make sure you wash all your sheets, bedding, towels, clothing, things that you wore in the prior three to five days before being diagnosed. Make sure you vacuum your living spaces. For anything that can't be washed, put it in a sealed plastic bag in your garage or storage area for about one week. Do all these things at the same time that you first use your first scabies treatment. To treat the symptoms of scabies, we recommend anti-itch creams that have promoxine, menthol, or camphor. You can also use ice packs applied to the itchiest areas and mild cortisone creams. You can also try an over-the-counter antihistamine at bedtime. The itch can actually last for up to a month after successful treatment as your immune system calms down. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this video useful. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.